So when I turned 40, I thought I'd learned everything that I need to learn in order to be functional on this planet. So when I started to have these uh, dreams and hear these voices in my head and apparitions appearing, uh, you know, on the edge of my bed and telling me stuff, I thought, okay, let's see where this goes. Where's this going to lead me? So I went down that rabbit hole and I only know now how crazy it was to uh, to go down that rabbit hole and for Alice who went down the rabbit hole and for all those other beings out there who came down the rabbit hole my hat's off to you because it takes a lot of courage to do that and a lot of um, in the Jewish uh, words it takes chutzpah yeah so I went down this rabbit hole and um, met all kinds of um, experiences. Got a lot of information that made no sense to me whatsoever. I should explain that, you know, before I woke up I was not scientifically minded. Uh, I was uh, fairly good at math 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 mathematics. Um, but I understood concepts very well. And in my career, in, in my, my banking, I spent 25 years in banking, I, I found a niche that not too many other people uh, could fulfill, and that was the niche of problem solving because for some strange reason I can uh, absorb a lot of information and process it um, to come out with an elegant and articulate answer or solution. Um, I didn't think of it as a particularly unique skill then because I thought everyone else had the same ability. But I guess um, not everyone has that ability. So I went down this rabbit hole and uh, began to have experiences that are otherworldly, if I can put it that way. One of the first experiences I had was going through what my higher self, Maha, told me was the way fields. He didn't explain what they were, were. he just showed them to me. And the next morning I woke up, um, you know, thinking, what the hell was that? <laughs> and I'd seen these uh, images of waves that had different colors and different perspectives and they were going at different angles and, and they were all moving. It wasn't like I looked at a wave, you know, in the two-dimensional picture. It was all moving and changing and, and, and uh, it, it, it was quite frightening for me at the time because, you know, I'd never seen anything like that before. You know, at the time there weren't 
videos on YouTube and uh, other places where I could see this energy in motion. So it was a quiet introduction, but not quite so quiet because my heart would go doot, my heart was thumping. What the hell is this? <laughs> but it was an introduction into the nature of waves. And so my earlier lessons uh, became about understanding waves. Because my first introduction to um, this whole venture was about the hologram. And how holograms are formed, and I asked my higher self, how are holograms formed? How is reality a hologram? And in the response was, it's just waves of energy. But I didn't understand that, so I asked, well, what are these waves of energy? So they showed me the waves. I didn't know then, but I've since begun to understand it better, that everything around us is filled with waves. When you have your, you have your cell phone, you pick it up and you answer your cell phone, you speak to your cell phone, what are you doing? You're interacting with waves. These waves are everywhere. When you push your microwave uh, button to cook your food, what are you doing? You fill in a small, compact um, space with waves. And what do these waves do? They heat your food. How do they do that? What are these waves? So understanding the waves of energy was my introduction to understanding the nature of the wave reality that we live in. Holograms are formed by waves of energy, light and sound. And we, we may not like that, but when you switch your TV set on, what do you see? You see waves carried through the ether. They come through your aerial into your television screen that are then um, reformulated into a picture. So that's what we are experiencing here. A TV movie. A hologram. So understanding that is, was kind of my first introduction. But for some strange reason, I understood that. So I wanted to know more about how does this hologram work? What is the hologram? Why is there a hologram? So I began, and, and, and to my credit, I was not just somebody who constricted with like, dear eyes in the headlight. I asked a lot of questions. Because intrinsically I knew I had a right to be. So I, I asked a lot of questions. And that really was my salvation. I asked questions. 
But the question is, do you ask questions? So as we go through this uh, journey together, if you want to go through this journey together, I can tell you that your questions are more important than the answers. Because when you question, the answer already exists within you. And the asking of the question ignites and enlightens the answer within you. 